The following training video from M2Sys Technology was designed to highlight the features and benefits of the M2B fingerprint reader and demonstrate proper and improper scanning techniques. The M2B reader is a compact, powerful device ergonomically designed to provide high-level security for PCs and complex network environments. It features a rugged, scratch-free 500 dpi optical fingerprint sensor and is ergonomically designed to work with any finger or thumb. Characterized by its versatility for use in any scanning environment, the M2B fingerprint reader is resistant to scratches, impact, corrosion, and electrostatic discharge. It works seamlessly with any of our fingerprint software applications and features ultra-precise FBI-compliant 500 dpi resolution. It is designed and built to last, eliminating costly replacements. As with all of our biometric hardware, there are proper and improper scanning techniques that help maximize the effectiveness of the device to enroll and identify end users. Let's take a look at some of the proper scanning techniques with this device. Even though most people tend to associate fingerprint technology with the thumb or index finger, we have discovered they are actually two of the worst fingerprints to use since these fingers are more widely used in day-to-day -day activities and therefore more prone to damage. When possible, please use the middle finger or ring finger for enrollment and verification because it usually produces and retains a much higher quality image. Make sure that the middle finger is pressed firmly and flat against the scanning surface. Pressing the finger with some pressure against the scanning surface helps to ensure both that the maximum surface area of the print is in contact with the scanner and that the print has no gaps or holes. Hand moisturizer or our Scantastic fingerprint moistener can be used for problematic dry skin. Capturing the core or center of the fingerprint helps the system extract unique minutia points from this distinct area. This will help to improve the accuracy of the identification process and limits the possibility of false rejection. To recap, be sure to capture a full and centered fingerprint image that includes a clear image of the core or center. Make sure to keep the finger flat and firmly placed on the scanning surface and please use the middle finger whenever possible. Let's take a look now at improper scanning techniques that could possibly lead to a poor quality biometric enrollment template and the inability to identify a person on a future attempt. First, try and avoid approaching the scanning surface at an angle, but instead approach directly from the center with the finger flat and firm against the scanning surface. Second, please try to avoid rotating the fingers on the scanning surface as this may lead to, to the system not finding similar minutia to accurately identify a person and may return a false rejection message. Third, please avoid standing a finger straight up on the surface as this may also result in a poor quality scan and subsequent false rejection of an end user. To recap, avoid capturing one side of the fingerprint or the other, or just the tip of the finger, along with approaching the scanning surface from an angle or standing the finger up. Also, please make sure to avoid pressing lightly on the surface. All of these conditions could result in a low quality biometric template and failure of the system to identify the end user. Note that in this example of a poor quality enrollment, the end user did not press firmly enough on the scanner resulting in image quality gaps and a scan that would not be acceptable. There are also certain limitations to be aware of. These limitations are in addition to the importance of image quality during enrollment and identification as explained earlier in this video. First, damaged fingers that include cuts, very rough or dry skin, can sometimes have an effect on image quality. Rubbing the fingers together or using lotion can help, but if a particular finger just will not work during enrollment, simply use another finger that does work. Second, the elderly and children may have difficulties enrolling with the fingerprint reader. Using moisturizing methods described earlier can help, and it is recommended that children under the age of five utilize their thumb to capture as large a surface area as possible. We often get questions about how to properly clean the scanning surface, which may accumulate dirt and debris during the course of using it for enrollment and identification. It is recommended that the scanning surface be cleaned with a piece of scotch tape sticky side down to lift any dirt or debris from the scanning surface, as demonstrated here. 
If something sticky is spilled on the reader, it's okay to take a dry cloth and spray a mild ammonia-based cleaner such as Windex and gently wipe the scanning surface. To review, in most cases a piece of scotch tape can be used to clean the scanning surface, but for tougher dirt and debris, it is okay to spray a mild ammonia-based cleaner on a dry cloth and gently wipe down the surface area. Do not use industrial-based cleaning solvents on the scanning surface as this can damage the sensor and is not covered under warranty. For more information on any of our biometric hardware and software solutions, please contact, th contact us through our website, phone, email, or through one of our social media channels.